Hi there, welcome back to Firefighter Safety Tips with Firefighter Caffarata. You know, I want to go over something else that you guys might be interested in, in learning and checking out is uh, if you do happen to have a stethoscope and you can buy them on like Amazon and whatnot. I'm not going to go over blood pressures because it could get a little more complicated with that, but a stethoscope. There's all different types you could purchase. Kind of look at the ratings on Amazon and you could potentially find the one that suits your needs, but um, they'll give you a lot of feedback on what particular one works best. But I bought one uh, kind of recently just to, because I have an infant and uh, I also want to check my family's, you know, uh, breathing and make sure everything's good and teach my little eight year old what to do, right? Is assessing lung sounds. So when you assess lung sounds, you could get a stethoscope, right? And there's all different types, so do your research. But basically, you know, you put it on your ears like this, like so. And there's, in front, you have, uh, this is interior, right? The interior, and you want to make sure you have it on the right side, some rotate. The rotation is for the smaller ones for infants and for little children, children and also toddlers, and the larger ones for adults. And all you want to do is listen to basically lung sounds. So as I breathe in, the interior is in the inside. So I breathe in, you go sides like this, sides down, sides interior. So in front of the chest, on the sides, right, interior. Deep breaths. And if it's clear and there's no... Uh, obstructions, nothing that sounds like, like, like wheezing or crackling or anything that cons is considered like uh, outside the normal of what you would say is clear lung sounds, then it's, then it's going good. Now in the back, I can't really show you here, but there's posterior. Posterior is if you're doing the back and it's in the same exact areas as the front. You're, you're listening to the back and you're listening to areas that are going to help you assess vital signs and lung sounds. You could do down below, down below, and the same exact patterns as you have from the front on the back. So you take deep breaths. And for children, you could say, hey, take a deep breath. Make sure you warm up that stethoscope because it's kind of cold. And that's how you can assess for lung sounds. Um, always ABC, airway, breathing, circulation, look, listen, feel, and take those steps and pay attention, especially in these cold winter months, that these are times that uh, it's, it's flu season and it's time to just kind of monitor. So thanks for joining me today. Join me again for Fire Safety Tips with Firefighter Caffarata. Thank you.